Hi, Aquarius. It's time for your December reading for this current year. Yay. Aquarius, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts if this resonates with you. The deal. If not, don't worry about it because it's just a card game. Just boop your nose and away it goes. Right? Right. Cross watchers, switch where you need to because I have no idea what the hell's going on. If you don't like offensive language, I'm sorry, but I like dropping F bombs and all sorts of fun stuff, right? Oh my god, of course someone's dinging me already just because I said something back. Uh, what the hell was I going to say? Oh, newcomers, if you want a personal read, all the info is in the description box after the music listings I use as the background music for my stuff. Uh, first reading is on the house, of course. And I do accept tips and donations. Thank you very kindly. So let's get this shindig going, yo. Aquarius, boop. You feel like your emotions are getting played with right now. With the moon. Could be with the Pisces or a Cancer. Right here in the situation, it feels like the Wheel of Fortune is not turning for you. Over yonder, we got the Nine of Wands right here. And Wands and Wishes. Keeping your guard up. Staying on duty. However, your obstacle and challenge right here... It, I'm an Aquarius moon, that's right. Ah! Uh, feeling like you're stuck playing a martyr. Being sitting here at the crossroads a little bit too long with the hangman reverse. Pisces energy. King of Swords in the fears and rejection. Someone coming for the truth, saying the truth, speaking the truth, stabbing anything that ain't the goddamn truth. Could be you or anybody else, Aquarius. Cross watcher, then down below, and how this shit will come full circle how it starts, how it will end the hydrophant. Someone begging and praying for guidance, right? Then we have the Three of Cups. We're all gonna have a good time, even though we're living in a fish with teeth. Most dangerous of them all. Oh, what a day. I was not expecting to have the shit that came out. Capricorns really had me all fucked up. Well, I had it all fucked up. And then it just, like, the card just, like, smacked the fuck out of me. Ah, well, I probably deserved it. Anyway, let's see. These strings on this moon right here, Aquarius. What's up with that? That fucking cross... Oh, God damn. Okay, yeah, I'm Aquarius moon. That's right. Crossroads, right? You're at crossroads. You know your emotions getting played with? And you're at that point in time where it's like Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. You need to communicate. That's your card, Aquarius. And I've just bent the fuck out of that. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that to you. My bad, dude. I'm just all excited because, you know, like, y'all called me out earlier. And I was like, some bullshit. That's all. I didn't mean to do it, actually. I promise. That's my own fault. My bad. Sorry, I have, like, a habit of, of like, you know, of all of my cards. Like, I'm weird with inanimate objects. I always treat them like they have souls of their own. Because, you know, you got to be grateful to them, even though they don't really live. And, you know, uh, oftentimes my cards tell me to sit down and shut the fuck up. So, you know. The situation down below. The moon. Wheels of Fortune stuck, but there are secrets here going on. Definitely could be dealing with the Pisces. Right? Oh, even the music's just like, what a fucking day. <laughs> uh, the secret is, it doesn't seem like there's any sort of investment in this shit, right? We got the wants and wishes. You want to stay on guard, stay on that duty. You don't care if you're falling asleep, right? Because you're tired of people watching you and making you feel paranoid and shit. And you need to face this fucking devil even though you don't want to. It could be Capricorn, could be Leo. Definitely could be a Leo you're dealing with. Aquarius and Cross Watcher alike. Down below in the obstacle and challenge, the hanged man reverse. Uh, this shit's gonna end. It's gonna die. This like lingering at this crossroads, right? It's gonna end, but a tower isn't gonna fall. What? Uh, one more. Confused about this obstacle. Ending shit so a tower won't fall. 
Because, like, you don't feel like yourself emotionally, really. So let's see. Ah, uh, this King of Swords could be you. You might not even want to be battling or fighting right now because of the fear of rejection. Like, you have a fear of, like, having to open up and stand your ground. Almost. And you really don't want to take a kind of leap of faith, Aquarius. It's just like, nah, I'm good. I'm good. There's no reason for me to go and engage this shit. I got my truth. I just don't need to express it anymore, almost. Down below, what's bringing this shit full circle out? It starts out end praying to God for answers. Could be a Capricorn involved here, or just like a bad, bad, naughty, naughty connection. Why are you facing that way, Murphy? You go back this way. There you go. But it's like, someone doesn't want to fight. Someone is totally, nobody's in the energy to fight. If they're going to fight, it's not going to be pretty, but it's like, someone doesn't have enough passion to fight for anything. And they're not interested in either, because like, you know, the devil card, right? It's just like, it's too bad. It's too, as people would say, toxic, even though I hate that word, but it's definitely unhealthy. It's not good. Why do you say I'm going to find a better word than toxic? Because I hate that fucking word. Especially when it comes to the devil, because I'm a Capricorn. Like, you know, I'm not toxic. Not evil. Not any of that. I just bring out the negative in people. That's all so they can deal with it. Because, you know, like, shadow sides and such, right? What's the theme here? Having a good time, but that means letting all morality, justice, fairness, all that shit out the fucking way. Hmm. Let's clarify with the after tarot. All right, so the energy, right? Everything is coming together the way it is supposed to be. But you might not be offering dick. You probably aren't offering anything. Aquarius. I almost like it said Capricorn. Aquarius and Cross Watcher. Things are coming together and you don't want to make any more offers. Like, there's nothing to offer out. You feel like there's no point. It's not going to go anywhere. Let's see. Down below in the situation, it's like shit can't get... It, shit won't get buried. It keeps coming out of the ground. And you want to keep giving this shit, even though it's a zombie gnome. It's a zombie gnome and you want to keep feeding into it. Or this shit's not ending and you're forced to like deal with someone you look at like a gnome. Like, oh my god, here. Take this, get your fish, get your mushrooms, get your weed, go away. There you go. Go have fun. Look across both sides of the roads before you cross the, the street. You might get hit by a carriage or some shit. Hopefully. Anyway, uh, wants and wishes, right? There is a need to be fair, but it pisses you off that you have to be. It's just like, ah, oh, I don't want to offer anything. Or you're offering somebody to somebody to something to somebody you know, and they're very ungrateful about it. Could be a Libra, Aries, Taurus, Venetian energy, right? Down in the obstacle and challenge. Hmm. It's flipped over, but it definitely could be a King of Pentacles, Capricorn Taurus, Virgo once again, lovingly stroking his buffalo with his pentacle um taking time and letting things grow naturally instead of just like picking something and deciding oh this can the rest of this can rot you can get off my palo stick thank you very much i'm just saying i'll set that on fire too go away i fucking hate stink bugs dicks like, they wouldn't be so bad if they were rare, but, like, once they start infesting the house, it's like, Jesus. Oh, my God, your antenna. So, you, like, this is my house. Anyway, fears and rejections. Well, justice is going to be coming into play, that karma. And someone's going to be sitting there, like, eh, is, is, who's, like, they don't know where to go. They don't know how to work GPS, and they're waiting for a phone call, waiting for a text. It's like, hmm. Someone's going to be sitting there lingering about you, Aquarius. How this shit starts, how it'll end, it'll come full circle. You might feel like you're letting someone drown. But that's the nicest thing you can do. Or 
This king of wands is sitting there letting you drown. Acting like they're being gentle with you, right? Hmm. Aquarius. I feel like whoever you're dealing with, you don't want to deal with. It's almost like you're trying to, um, like, I, I, I don't know, you, all, you guys always try to get away from fucking people anyway, but this is like somebody else. Hmm. It's like, you want to leave things correct, but that requires a lot from you, and that's just annoying in itself. It's just like, I already waste enough energy getting out of bed, why do I have to do other shit? Ugh. But that's how it goes. So anyway, Aquarius, that was your read, my loves. So if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. You don't have to if you don't want to, but I would greatly appreciate it, of course. Um, I will see you guys later. Love your faces. I'm going to go calm down some more. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.